Lust Corrupts Part 3 The Collision When you've achieved the wrong goal and find the real treasure but thought he couldn't have it. Did he even love a Sue or just lust after her? How will Hiram choose spiritual or earthly treasure? SOF 619 Now when Haram returned it was nigh the feast of sheep slaying and at this time sacrifices of lambs were made to the water monsters in the lake. While away, Haram had thought about Asu and about the treasure of Egypt, both seemingly equally unattainable. The wife of Naman spoke to him rarely, and Haram wondered, for this is not the way of women. SOF 620 On the eve of the Feast of Sheep Slaying, the lake boats were prepared for the annual pilgrimage to the island. Among those was the great boat of Arab, kept in memory of the day when the scorcher of heaven rose with the sun and earth was overwhelmed. For this boat, the sacrificial lambs were offered to the water monsters, and on it served Asu and eight virgins. There, too, the high priest officiated. SOF 621 Haram had conceived a plan within his mind whereby at the risk of his life he might possess himself of the treasures of Egypt. This year, the men being now frail, he alone would be in charge of the sacrificial lambs. Together with two boy priests to assist him, they came from the temple of the lake, dedicated to the bright bearded one, who once saved earth from destruction through fiery hail by making a third round. SOF 622 On the night before the festival, Haram stepped with his small flock beside the boats, and at first light, they were put aboard as the sun rose upon high. The high priest came with many other priests and princes, and the virgins came also. They offered sacrifices at the temple of departure, and then set out upon the waters. In another boat were Namen and his wife, and there were other boats filled with people. SOF 623 After making offerings upon the waters, the boats arrived at the island, and Preparations were made for the island ceremony, which lasted throughout the night. The lambs were offered as darkness came, and the waters became red with blood, and the water monsters satiated with meat. SOF 624 Now the cave on the island was protected from men by the spirit of Mott, who had died there in days long forgotten, and the priest guarded its entrance. But Haram did not fear the spirit of Mott, for it could do no harm to one who carried upon his body the same blood scar as Mott had borne. Haram, the stranger, had been so marked out from other men in his childhood. Clearly he wanted both, but instead of focusing on the treasure of the heart, his focus was still on the lust of possession.